Good morning. My name is Jeremy Wilbert. I'm a senior product marketing manager at Aviva, and I'm thrilled to join you to discuss real time operational performance management with enterprise visualization. As, as we look at what's happening around us, no matter the industry or geography, uh, organizations must be able to analyze their business in detail to understand where and how to prioritize decisions. We are seeing across our customer engagements where several common types of questions are being proposed, and these organizations are trying to understand how they can leverage the information they have to do better, uh, regardless of what better means for them. So whether that is increasing visibility from days or weeks to near real time, uh, such as you know, rather than relying on scheduled reports or having access to information on demand, uh, understanding the impact and criticality of assets across operations. This could include being able to flag assets where the failure of them means a complete stop to operations and how teams respond to issues with those assets. Being able to meet sustainability commitments. This is a key topic right now, uh, both in relation to ecological impacts and from an operations continuity aspect, which, which also influences adapting to tight talent markets and knowledge loss resulting in a need to centralize experts uh, who use these technologies to extend their ability to interact with production sites and highlighting areas that need immediate decisions to prevent further impacts using predictive information or other factors to surface these visibly and increasing overall responsiveness to respond to rapidly changing environments. You know, agility is a big part of future planning, whether we're looking at geopolitical supply chain or climate impacts. In addition to those self-realized needs from stakeholders, there has also been a clear shift based on measured outcomes in being able to, to successfully leverage uh, digital capabilities to enhance operational activities in these new environments. Um, here are several stats from McKinsey, IDC, Gartner, and Aviva Research. Um, you know, 56% or over half of companies that did not implement Industry 4.0 technologies were limited in their ability to adapt to COVID-19 impacts. And now nearly all organizations, or 89%, are investing in digital solutions like collaboration, like real-time data, to enable sustainability, again, both from the ecological perspective and the continuous improvement to remain competitive. This is being fueled by several other insights. Uh, nearly two-thirds of decisions are more complex now than they were before. Um, you know, we can see that just in terms of global factors and the amount of information required now to make uh, granular and agile decisions that may endure less or you know, not be long-lived than they did before, thus requiring new, faster, and more frequent decisions. Um, nearly half of all organizations have not yet met their data discovery and integrity goals, but they are on that path, as we've identified here with the digital investments. Poor decision-making contributes to an annual cost of 3% in profits. And then, you know, organizations are recognizing that productivity can be increased through effective use of digital tools, which is significant considering the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Industries has indicated that overall worker productivity increases have been in decline. All of this has been leading to significant interest over the last several years in the unification of operations information, specifically improving access to context-driven information to drive action. You know, existing databases have massive amounts of information, with Industry 4.0 adoption driving even greater volumes of data. But these stakeholders, they want to see more value from their data in support of being competitive in their various markets. They're also recognizing that it goes beyond just making use of data, but being able to improve the collaboration mechanisms between the people that use it to enrich data into actionable information, amplifying the, further, the, the value further. And according to McKinsey Research, uh, these types of cross-functional solutions outperform other singular-focused applications by 30 to 40%. Unifying operations is also frequently referred to as the convergence of information technology, operations technology, and engineering technology. This closely relates to terms like digital twin, where digital twin refers to a comprehensive, fully digital representation of something, an asset, a plant, or a process. And digital thread, which could be defined as a continuous sequence of digital information around a singular topic as it flows throughout a business. 
By, by unifying operations, we're creating a 360 degree view, bringing together various data sources and data types to create previously unseen relationships and identify insights between them that could not be seen without manual effort or potentially at all. This may use many digital threads and it also could be part or one part of a digital twin strategy. The key though is, is we're expanding the amount of information used to support decisions for operations teams by using a combination or a mix of information, such as using 3D models alongside work order requests to understand what kind of equipment, say a ladder or a crane, may be required to provide service, or visualizing energy intensity information anticipated from a particular pro production run or product run based on predictive metrics and real-time energy costs from the local energy provider then providing this information to the teams that can best react to it. This convergence of data sources and data types is occurring at all levels of visualization and varies by team, unique to their perspective of operations. The teams we encounter most often across our customers can be placed into three groups. The plant and field team, depending on industry that is physically touching the equipment and using an HMI for operating processes and countering abnormalities in real time to ensure smooth operations. Control room teams that oversee geographically dispersed assets or manage a single production facility. These users get exposed to a wider set of information to orchestrate operations through a SCADA application using data sources available locally and that are typically specific to their area of control and enterprise teams, which can be comprised of many different roles separated from the real-time nature of the other teams, but still have a clear need for similar uh, process information rolled up into a larger scale and scope that includes more IT-centric data sources such as financial, ERP, and supply chain information. And this is where we refer to as enterprise visualization, distinct from HMI or SCADA. The, the information types listed here aren't meant to be comprehensive, uh, more an example of the differing views between these different operations teams. HMI and SCADA have a long history, but enterprise visualization is a new emerging need. And while it does benefit from the same data and relevant technologies and standards as HMI and SCADA, it is important to recognize and understand the use case is quite different. As we just covered, HMI and SCADA systems are narrower in scale and information scope and are on a tightly managed control network, tuned to the perspective and daily activities of its primary users at those individual or multiple sites. Where enterprise visualization scales beyond this into the corporate or IT network, potentially in the cloud, and pulls together information sources that exist outside of the control network. This can include data management platforms like the Pi system, artificial intelligence engines, and even other applications like trucking systems. This offers a higher level perspective for enterprise users in a consolidated environment for making organization-wide decisions. This, this reminds me of a customer engagement that I had the opportunity to be involved with several years ago where the enterprise team, uh, a group of analysts, was trying to gain greater insights and they wanted to leverage the information from the plant floor. The, so they requested the information or access to the applications that the plant floor team was using without really kind of understanding what they use and how it gets used. The operations team kind of informed them that they can't share that information outside the plant control network, um, but they could send them the, the information underneath from the database. And so the, the, the enterprise team received massive amounts of information at one second increments which for them was quite useless. They didn't understand the context between the tags, the, the, the frequency or the resolution of the information was too high. And so there was this common disconnect between understanding how things relate across operations. And so for enterprise visualization, this starts to bring that awareness, that ability to look and consolidate and roll up the information from the plant floor into an enterprise perspective without having to deal with some of those, uh, those differences and misunderstandings. Within the enterprise space though, we, we are also seeing three different deployments emerge from our customer needs. The broad command center that features a striking visual wall that caters well to large teams with complex optimization tasks. A remote operations center or ROC 
which tends to include a smaller group of subject matter experts who help resolve issues uh, escalated by the site or through predictive algorithms, and the casual user, which can be executive roles seeking visibility into their operations or strategic and data analysts researching decision opportunities based on past and present KPIs, each based on the same underlying technology, but different applications of it to accommodate the usage. All of these share a common need for a comprehensive view into the organization's data that is in context to operations. Aviva, operation, or Aviva Unified Operations Center is our solution that supports this enterprise visualization need, leveraging Aviva's domain expertise across industrial operations to bring real-time operational performance management to enterprise-level users. On the screen here is a, an oil and gas visual wall example from our Customer Experience Center in London. Uh, featuring various KPIs, map-based and camera content, 3D models, process graphics, and several other systems wrapped into a visual uh, environment offering a holistic view of operations. A key aspect of this visual environment uh, empowers the context necessary for unifying operations, the ability for users to interactively drill down into what they need to examine. This offers a significant step in improving operational awareness for enterprise operations teams. In this example, uh, this video example, we have a user selecting an asset from a process screen. Uh, so we can see the cursor there will uh, navigate to that orange uh, pump. Um, you know, in this it initiates the 3D model view to zoom to the specific representation of the asset. And then on the right, supporting documentation has appeared in the form of 2D schematics, maintenance manuals, and even the table-based information related to equipment model, um, manufacturer, and other relevant data. Now, as the user kind of moves up here and selects another asset, the, the view will change, and the associated information changes once again to reflect this new selection. And so now we have a view of an elevated asset with a schematic that could be panned and zoomed, um, additional information located in the table, and the user can use the 3D model again to understand the physical location of it in proximity to other parts of the facility. Again, giving uh, additional information that they can use to make more informed decisions of how to respond to uh, different events or different needs, such as perhaps a work order. And so this ability to pull different information types together uh, into a composite view, whether on-premise or in the cloud, combined with the rich visual ability of Aviva Unified Operations Center, gives immense flexibility to the design and the arrangement of an application so that it makes the most sense to the user. This includes you know, responsive screen structures, uh, graphical content, slide-out panels, uh, role-based visualization, and hierarchical navigation are all aspects that could be employed to fit the information need. And then we use best practices, template to design, and the inclusive content to make really impactful applications that are intuitive to use. Unified Operations Center is based on a hybrid system of system structure, meaning it doesn't replicate the information acquired from other applications. It connects to and layers over the top. Uh, Unified Operations Center is a vendor agnostic software solution and uses these existing systems as a data source, pulling the information together using various industrial and internet standard protocols, applying context between the data sources defined in the configuration, and visualizes it for the user. This approach helps manage the complexity of information, regardless of what is being uh, co combined, uh, ensures compliance with standards, including cybersecurity, and it maintains minimal impacts to other systems, and mitigates costs associated with custom-built applications. All of this makes Aviva Unified Operations Center a platform application that can be used to build upon. It includes industrial operations content and command and control capabilities to provide a rich visualization tool for converging IT, OT, and ET information. The solution is highly extensible with native functionality purpose-built for industrial operations, including the ability to create hierarchical KPIs and process screens, conduct supervisory control if desired, can be accessed on different device formats, though we typically see um, desktop preferences due to the amount of information available. 
We can integrate many different tools in Aviva software, like the Pi system, E3D, and reporting. We can build out standard operating procedures and even incorporate third-party data like uh, maintenance systems, weather, uh, financial, uh, market data, and uh, surveillance systems. Part of the Aviva Unified Operations Center solution is a growing selection of industry-specific applications that provide pre-built templates to jumpstart further customization. These templates offer inspiration into what could be done for a particular industry while decreasing development efforts by initially providing standard asset types and visuals that are applicable to the chosen industry. And then where you go from there is, is fully customizable. We have data centers and smart cities available today. Renewables, water, and midstream are in an early access phase for a limited number of customers uh, to help us improve them before they're available here pretty soon and mining, marine, and food and beverage are under development today. I'll briefly highlight four customer implementations uh, of a unified operations environment. Uh, so Kohima is one of many in a smart city initiative within India, where they created a centralized command center to manage city services, uh, including traffic, lighting, and pollution. Uh, with the system being deployed remotely to accommodate uh, the various pandemic restrictions. Utrian deployed a remote operations center that displays uh, information from 22 systems, including Pi, that supports their operations teams in making decisions and collaborating across their nitrate production facilities. Adnoc is a leading example of what's possible, building out their Panorama Command Center featuring a 50 meter video wall that incorporates information from 14 different operating companies into a completely visualized value chain for fast decisions. And Gwinnett County serves a population of nearly 1 million people across 8,000 miles of water pipes. The Water Resources Division sought to enhance their digital proficiency and utilize a common operation system that could improve their ability to deliver trusted water services to the surrounding communities. You know, many of our customers seeking enterprise visualization will have unique outcomes based on the information that they want to bring together. Uh, but at a high level, you know, Aviva Unified Operations Center offers several advantages. Uh, it ex expedites time to value through faster and more informed decisions, builds collaborative teams in reducing data silos, offering everyone shared or common data to operate from, reduces the effort required to analyze information and make connections between data sources in an on-demand resource, enriches data with new insights to make users proactive, creates an environment for faster responses in critical situations, and is an open application that layers over the top of existing systems building on your investments. Enterprise visualization brings a whole new level of insight and awareness that builds upon the operations infrastructure that's already in place through HMI and SCADA implementations, it enables organizations to achieve real-time performance optimization. For more information and demonstration videos, I encourage you to visit our website at aviva.com UOC or speak to your sales representative to explore how enterprise visualization can support your organization's decision making. Thank you so much for your time and attention. Goodbye.